we want to do is click on Control N on the keyboard. And doing so is going to bring up a new part or assembly. And once we have that new part or assembly open, we're going to come to our data panel. And when you open up your left hand data panel, what you want to do is right click on your model and you want to click um, and drag it into your new part. And now that it's in our new part, what we're going to do is we want to just set it in place based on our origins. So I'm going to just turn this 90 degrees. You can grab this handle and just turn it to negative 90. And what we can do from here is we can change our preferences. So I can take this and drag this negative 90 as well. And the reason is because I want this to line up with my view cube. Here you see it says front. I want this to be the front of my part and I want this to be the right side of my part. So this is really just my preference. But now we have our whole assembly lined up the way we want. So I'm going to hit OK. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to look at our origin. You can see that's one of our planes. Here's the second one. And here is the third. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make a new plane, actually. I'm going to come up to Construct. I'm going to come to Offset Plane. I'm going to click on this face, and I'm just going to drag this down. And what I can do is I can just drag it, you know, say three, three and a half millimeters or three millimeters just for now. And always change that value. And I'm going to click on this surface, or sorry, this plane, and I'm going to start a sketch. And I'm going to click on these rings of these holes. And when you hold down shift and select all of them, um, they, they will uh, be projectable. So click the P button on the keyboard. And now you've essentially projected, you can see that there, you projected that ring onto, the, onto your plane. And that's what we want. So now we have the location of the hole and we also have the size of the hole all by doing that. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to project this outer ring. So I'm going to click on all four outer rings holding down shift to select all of them at the same time. And do the same thing. Click P on the keyboard. Hit OK. All right. That's what we want. Now from here what we're going to do is come to solid. We're going to come to extrude. And I'm just going to select um, both of the circles. And with both of them selected, I'm going to just drag this. See this arrow? Just drag it. And just drag it. And just drag it up until the point where it touches here. Now the easy way to do this is to come to Extend and do two objects and just click on it. See that? We, we basically extrude it up to the object that we want to extrude to. So there we have it. You know, this is going to be 3D printed, so I don't even think we have to mess around with making a draft. But you can make a ta taper angle. See that? Taper angle, you could set that to 1. It's going to give you a taper angle of 1, 1 degree. Again, it's not, not really necessary, but it's cool. So see that? See how it's tapered inward like that? All right, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to um, right click, make sure our sketch is visible. We want to come to extrude. And oh, yeah, here, let me come to, let me come to sketches here. Let me just click on the, the, the little eyeball there so I can see my sketch. I'm going to come to extrude. I'm going to select all four of the inner circle this time. We selected the outer circle last time. Now we're selecting the inner circle this time. I'm going to drag this up, cut all the way through that piece right there. And if you see, one thing you have to be uh, careful about is that it's asking, well, which objects you want to cut? Well, I want to cut all four of them. So we're going to hit OK, see what that does. See, it made a hole 
that goes all the way through. Now here's the thing, the, the hole that I just made, it cut all the way through and it's the same size as the original hole. But if you want, you can come back here, you can right click, edit the sketch we, that we're working on, and if you want, you can just, you know, shift and click on all four circles and see where it says construction, click on construction. Now they're construction lines. And now I can, I can come up to center diameter circle here and I can click on the center and I can drag out and make it the dimension that I want. So I can make this whatever I want it to be. That being said, let's continue with our design. We're just going to leave the holes the way they are for now for this example. So the next thing we want to do is we have our little bosses here. They're going to hold up our board, but we want to create a platform and some extruded walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a sketch. And this sketch is, is going to be on the same plane that we made. So I'm going to make this plane visible here under construction. See that construction tab? Click on the arrow and just click a little eyeball on the left side. Now we're looking at it. So I'm going to click on it, create a sketch, OK. And now what I want to do is come to create rectangle, center rectangle. Click right there on the center. And with that center selected, now it might be a little difficult at first, but you have to select the center. And we're just going to drag this out. We're going to we're going to drag this uh, about here. And now we can look at this from the top. And I can now set some dimensions on here for some fine tuning. So I can create a dimension from the from the one edge. I can make this three millimeters if I want. And here, this is going to automatically be driven. This is three millimeters also. And I'm also going to make this wall three millimeters. And as you can see, now, now it's three millimeters all around. So I'm going to come to solid, extrude, and I'm going to click on that rectangle that we made. And what I could do is drag down. And I can make this, if I want, I can make this um, two millimeters. So two millimeters right there. And now that we made our rectangle, what I can do is I can add some walls here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to just click on this face, come to create sketch. And I'm going to come over here to offset. And you just, you just click on the edge right here. And all you have to do is just drag in. And if you drag in, say, negative 2, negative 2 millimeters, then all you have to do is just hit OK. And we're going to come to Solid, Extrude. And when we click on it, just drag all the way up. And you're going to see that we now created some nice walls here that we can use. So that's, that's uh, pretty good. But that's not the only thing that we have to do. We have to make some cutouts here so that we can access um, what the Raspberry Pi has to offer. Uh, click on my origin plane, my XY, and I'm going to start a sketch. And we're going to look at this from the front. And now I'm going to turn that back on the visual style. And now all I have to do is just make a rectangle that fits around this feature. And you can always, you know, go in and dimension this and make it all fancy. But for now, I just want to show you the, the basis of how we do this. And I'm going to make a third rectangle here. And I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because the rectangles are sort of hidden. So maybe I'll, I'll change this to just shaded. But if you look closely, you can see, see these three rectangles in here. I made them on the origin plane. I'm just going to come to solid, extrude. Select all three of them, drag them through, and that's going to cut. So there we go. We made three easy cutouts for these connector ports.
And now, same thing over here. I'm just gonna, you know, you don't even have to use an origin plane. I could start to sketch right on this face, even though that's really not best practice to do it. It is possible. So I'm just gonna come here, change this to uh, shaded with hidden edges, and now I'm just gonna do the same thing. And as long as you're not too worried about how pretty it looks, um, you can just make rectangles. And of course, you can always make the shape a little bit more, um, a little bit more intricate if you want. But I'm just going to do some rectangles here. And as you can see, I'm just kind of cutting out uh, rectangle areas around my my connectors. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did before: extrude. I'm going to select these three and just drag it in, and that's automatically going to cut it. And now let me switch back to visual shaded. You could see that it that now I made these cutouts for these connectors. And like I said before, you can always go back to the sketch and you can make it larger if you need to connect something. You can absolutely make it larger. See that? Now I have more room for a connector to go in, for a box connector to go in. And you know that that's that's really it. So um, we want to top this off um, with a cover, and in the real world, we would put four screws in here into our bosses that we created. We can just select it uh, one by one. That's really the correct practice. We're going to select these outer ones first, and we're going to decide on a value for it. I'm going to make these, uh, say, three millimeters. And then on the inside, we're going to make fillets here. And we can drag these in as well until they're radial. So I'm going to drag this in, um, say, to about one and a half millimeters. And we're going to um, create a lid on here. And so um, the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to select this face right here and create a sketch. And we're going to click on the whole face and click P on the keyboard and just hit OK. Oh, that didn't work. Select the whole thing, hit OK, and you've successfully selected the entire edge here. So what that means is I can come to solid and just hit it, hit extrude, and I can just select both these profiles and drag up and make it whatever I want. I can make this two millimeters. And the cool part, whoops, before we do that, make sure that instead of join, you do new body. Forgot to mention that. And the next thing that, that you can do, which is really cool, is you can, um, you can hide this body and what we're going to do is we're, we're going to show the sketch that we just made, which is sketch six right here. See that? Make sure you click the little eyeball to show it. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to extrude and we're going to click on this. And we're just going to drag down by uh, you know, about negative two millimeters or negative one millimeter. And that's going to make a little lip right there or a little extrusion. So now... When we go back and we unhide this part, if I go and come to tools, oh my God, you're not gonna believe this is so amazing, oh my God. Um, I'm just gonna click on his face and drag in. Whoa, no way. It made an, uh, something for it to sit on. And so basically this would be kind of like airtight almost. I mean, you would need a gasket in here, but I don't, I don't think we're gonna get into that in this lesson. So. Um, one thing that you can do to ameliorate this and make it even better than it is now is we're going to hide the bottom piece and I'm going to come to solid and show you a really cool trick. So click on all of these faces of the inner lip that we made. Yep, keep keep going. Oh, got to turn off my analysis. So I'm going to select all of these. And as soon as you have all of them selected, what you can do is just drag in a little bit 
and I went to the press pull command, by the way. So just drag them in a little bit and type in like 0.2. And now if we go back to our um, analysis, you're going to see that there's a small gap here. So that way this lid fits into the um, piece correctly. I've successfully added the four screws to my assembly. Now the next thing we want to do is fasten the top cap to the rest of our box. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to come back to one of the sketches that we started off with. I'm going to double click it here, sketch two, and instead of three millimeters, we're just going to make this seven millimeters. Now because we place this right on the origin, everything is going to update exactly the way it should. What we're going to do is we're going to start a sketch on this bottom face. And within this sketch, I'm going to create four circles. For right now, you can just place them randomly near the corners. Once you place down your four sketches, come to horizontal slash vertical and click on the first two, then click on the second two, and likewise click on the top first and the bottom second and then the top second and the top and the front first one. I placed in my four screws into my assembly and as you can see in a cross section I have the screw coming in through this top hole and into the boss. If you'd like you can come to press pull, click on the ring of the circle and move it out and now you can make this a clearance hole. So I can choose to make this say negative half a millimeter and hit OK. And I can do the same thing here for the boss. And I can drag this into whatever dimension I want it to be. So that's an easy way to press and pull and change the dimensions that you have uh, to make them work for you with the hardware that you're using.